Some of you have a question as to what I'm doing with these stress tests. I call it a stress test, but in reality, it's the way I run this inverter every day. This is a Solus S6 11.4 kilowatt inverter. Solus told me that it's designed to run 11.4 kilowatts 24 seven. So I'm holding their feet to the fire. I have four ant miner S19s wired up and they're pulling 11 to 11.4 kilowatts continuous all day long as long as we have sun. This isn't one of those, I have everything in my house hooked up to my inverter and it's running fine type test. This is a balls to the wall, can we break it? And if it does go up in smoke, what went wrong? And what's the solace response going to be? These are all things that we need to know. Another guy was questioning the inverter running at 150 degrees Fahrenheit in 108 degree ambient temperature. He thought it was running way too hot and that Solus didn't know how to design an inverter. That's only about 40 degrees above ambient. Are you kidding me? As you can see here, the Solus is spec'd out to run up to 221 degrees Fahrenheit. I guess he knows engineering better than the world's third largest inverter manufacturer. Run your 25 kilowatt low frequency inverter, pull out all day and show us the temperatures on your IGBT. Maybe we should make a series out of this. How long will the Solus run before going up in smoke? Put your best guess down below. All right guys, as usual, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Still shaking and baking, it's about 4.30 or so. I pointed that one out the door. I gotta get something more permanent here, but. This is called a stress test. It's not loping your inverters along at half the rate of power in an air conditioned shed. We're putting the manufacturers to test here. Still pulling 49 and a half amps. Keeping that fridge cold through a muggy night. No line pole shadows, no meter man brand. Just a creek bed course and a free born wind. Kick start the kettle, hear that sign way of saying Freedom in the frequency, the wild world